Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here. I make wire art and jewelry making videos on my channel as well as weekly live streams troubleshooting new designs. Today we're making these super cute little coffee cup rings and it was a special request from Kelly. So what you're going to need for this project is your pliers, the ring cone and some 20 gauge wire. So we need a piece of wire that's about 12 inches long so we'll just cut the wire and we're just going to get it started by straightening out the wire and here's our little sample that I did and what I'm going to do is start so we leave a little bit at the end for the steam and we're just going to go ahead and form the top of the cup so let's just take our pliers and then give that a little bit of a bend and then we can just use your finger to kind of form the top shape of the cup and this is going to just really depend on how large you want the ring so I'm going to make it kind of a medium size and then we're going to pinch that there and just with your finger form a kind of little oval shape here and then this one is going to go down okay so this is the beginning of our cup and now what we want to do is form the bottom of the cup do whatever angle you want so we're going to just bend that and form the bottom of the cup and the shape is going to depend on what style cup you want it could be a little chubbier it could be more narrow okay so we're going to go that's the basic cup and then what we want is the handle so now we're going to just take our round pliers again and I'm going to just do a simple handle for this one so that one goes down and then hold it there and that's going to go straight up okay so you see we have our basic shape and then for the ring part what I want to do is just hold that here and bend it at a right angle okay and then let's go ahead and form the steam on this one and so what I want to do is just make sure this is kind of straight across like sort of on top of that other wire and then you can start holding this and with your pliers and then I'm going to bend it that way and then I'm going to bend it back that way okay and this this part you know you can just choose how much steam you want I'm going to use my larger round pliers to make like a little spiral at the top so what I want to do is make kind of a a round shape and then I'll get these ones and just bring it in a little bit to make the spiral a little narrower okay you can just work your way in sometimes I use the end of a of a pen to make sort of more of a cone shape but because it's so tiny I'm just going to use my pliers so we have sort of a bit of a double spiral there and this one I'm just going to cut off okay we're just going to that's going to be the end of the wire We'll just cut that off and with our flat pliers just push it in so it's it's kind of flush like that so there's your steam and then now this part is going to go around your fingers so we're going to put it against the ring form pull that around and what we want to do is just finish it here at the top of the cup so now what you're going to have to do is just try it on your finger to see about the size okay and then when you have the size that you want the best thing to do is just when you know it's the right size just hold it here gently and bend that up at a bit of a right angle okay and then you can trim it so it's not going to be too much in the way that ends we're going to trim it there and then you want to take this end and stick it into that part of the cup so just careful it's going to go a little out of shape a little bit but that's okay we can fix it after so that's gone through that top part of the cup hold it with your fingers and then you can take these pliers the round ones and just bend it back okay and then you're going to have to trim it okay so trim the extra bit and then you want to push it so it's really flush in there so there's no little pokey end so we're just going to push it like that push it down okay very gently so that's nice and tucked in there and then always the finishing touch you put it back on the ring cone and adjust it 
as you need to. And there you have your little coffee cup ring that's super cute. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share pictures of your wire art creations, be sure to join the Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, where we share photos and inspiration. And if you don't have Facebook, no problem. You could email photos to info at heathervoidwire.com and I'll share them in the community section of my channel. And if you'd like to check out our wire art and jewelry on Etsy, we have a shop where we make custom wire jewelry and wedding cake toppers. If you'd like to learn some more specialized techniques for wire art and jewelry, I offer an online course where I have modules about making flattened wire bookmarks and also making spiral beads for necklaces and earrings and how to make a special kind of tree where you weave the wires together. So there's also a module about how to make your own jig and that one comes with all the templates for the designs I've made so far including the ones made with the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit or if you prefer just to purchase the templates I have a link for that below as well. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you the next time.